today I wanted to talk about disclosing your trans status while dating. Dating and if you need to, yada. But okay, so it depends on each person if you want to. Like obviously, if you're really out and you want to, go ahead. Disclose yourself as trans. It really doesn't matter to you. Go ahead and do it. But for some, they may be hesitant. And you see how people are like, you need to disclose your trans status before before you go dating with someone, someone. But it actually can be very dangerous for some people. People, um, some people can get um killed because of it. Because of it. And I've heard stories from um before about people, um, especially trans women, trans women being killed because they are deceiving, deceiving the their partner, partner, and hence why they are unfortunately killed, killed for no other reason than being trans. Which unfortunately all too common. Especially with trans women of color. But do we actually need to disclose because that we're trans? No. You don't. Don't. Now, let me get into that. Disclosing can be very dangerous. As I said, you can get... Do cis people disclose, hey, I'm cis? No, they don't. Don't. Which can be like... Mm, they're like, I'm normal. They're not. They're just common. Common. So, um, having to disclose your trans status puts you in an awkward situation where, um, you're very vulnerable. And if they do not like people who are trans and all that stuff, you are put in a situation where you're at risk. Risk, And it's just a date. It's not like you're gonna go have sex, which is completely different. Yes, if you're gonna have sex with someone, someone in your pre-op may want to disclose your trans. Trans, so it's not like a shocker to them. them. But also that comes with communication beforehand, getting to know them and all that stuff because dating is not sex. Sex is sex. Dating is not sex. sex. And you're, if you're dating someone, and you talk to them, you get to know them, so then they kind of get the real you, other than just your trans status, because hello, we're more than our trans status. That is so, um, they get to know the real you, you, and then they're like, and then you're like, they're, you guys are gonna go, um, planning on having sex or whatever. Might be a good idea to tell them, them because then you're like, it's not a, be like, um, you're, we're deceiving you this entire time, time, because cis people are very special at times, and they think only about themselves. So it's whereas, no, the trans person has, was not deceiving you. They were just being themselves and being their own truth. Truth which you thought is deceiving because you don't think of trans as normal, which is not okay. We are normal. We're just less common than you. Doesn't mean we're not normal. So, um, just closing your trans status before sex would probably be the best. Best, um, just for safety reasons. But, um, while you're dating, it's not as important. You need to, you should probably get to know someone beforehand and all that stuff to make sure they're chill. So they don't actually like you for you. You know, and if they don't date you because of that. After they tell them that you're trans and you've been with each other for a while, that's on them. They're missing out on a wonderful person and they, that they could have known. And who knows, they could have loved, they could love and marry or whatever. However you go, go and all that stuff. So they're the ones missing out and they're being transphobic because they liked you before. But once you disclose yourself, then they're like, mm -mm, which is very problematic. But unfortunately, kind of how some of society is, not all of society. Society, some people are like, like they don't care to begin with. Being like, okay, cool, I don't care. You're cool with me. me. Um, some people who, um, like, um, let's just give an example, a bi person, or a pan, however you identify as more than one gender, gender, um, a uh, loving person, just, um, goes dating with a trans person, trans person, and they don't disclose, disclose for a while. They might be more, they might be like, yeah, cool, I'm, I don't care what body parts someone has, so that doesn't matter. Whereas, at times, there's problems with straight people, or, um, gay people, because they expect genitalia only. Only, and they complete. And the problem with this, um, disclose the idea of disclosing before you trans is its assumption that everyone has the same body parts. Trans men have not had bottom surgery, which no, many have. Some, some don't want it. Oh, some do. Some have it. Some don't. Don't. So if you have it, why do you have to disclose? Just say I. Um, be like if they want to get pregnant. I mean, like I can't do that for you. I don't produce sperm because cis people. Not all cis men can produce sperm. That does not make you go out you as trans. Outing yourself as you can't have big biological kids is different because I've heard some people being like, yeah, just some people want to have kids. Kids, I'm like, there's always, there's an overpopulation in this country and there's way too many who are, need to be adopted and adopted and have foster parents and all that stuff. So having biological kids isn't always as important, important because we have, forget the idea part that um, one, you can have a surrogate or get to one who actually carries the baby. Maybe if someone can't have, um, who doesn't have ovaries. Ovaries, um, and can't biologically have kids for whatever reason, or you can 
or like trans men, trans men who can't produce sperm, sperm banks, that's a real thing. And so people can you know, use sperm banks, thanks to be able to um, have a child. The child might not be directly um, blood related to the um, trans person, depending on if they're um, caring and whatnot, not if you're a trans um, guy, if you're caring, or if you're um, not producing any sperm or whatever, whatever for a trans woman. I mean, it still doesn't matter because they are your kid because family isn't blood always. Family's not always blood, it's who you make connections with, with and who you're fairly close together with. Just like, that close. So it's very different, it's different. Like, it doesn't matter that they are not coming from your biology, let's just say, say it, because it's still their family. Family, like, you're gonna love them the same, even if they're not biologically yours, because you and your partner are together, together um, making this cake grow and yada yada. Sex doesn't have much to do with um, being like, um, be like, um, I want to have a biological kid. Yes, you can. You can. Just, you can't have it with, um, um, that way that, um, you expected because someone can't produce sperm or can't have it. Don't have eggs for whatever reason. Reason. So, that's the one part to come in mind. Right? So, those people who are like, I want biological kids. Yes, you can have biological kids. kids. It'll just be in a different way than you kind of expected. And so, there's really no reason for that one to even happen, happen other than um, ignorant people, I guess. So, um, just, again, as dating goes, you shouldn't have to disclose your trans status because there's nothing happening. Like, if it's gonna be like a one-night stand, let's say, that is a little bit more dangerous, you don't get to know them them that well and then you're just like sex which can be like problematic for some some because um then you're not you're not telling them the truth it's, and some ignorant people no but you don't have to disclose your trans status because because of um other people you're dating even if you're um a cis straight person straight person so you don't so then you're like assuming normal for example laverne cox and her boyfriend boyfriend he is a straight cis male no well as she is a trans woman they are dating they are a straight couple. He is no issue, and he's actually helping push trans people forward, forward and he's talking about this, is that he's dating a trans woman, and he still loves her. So it's not all that uncommon. I don't know if it's because she's a popular trans woman, and that's why he's more okay with it, and then all that stuff. I don't know, personally. Personally, but you can just be, like, more quiet about it, but I also don't think Liver and Cox would date anyone who's trying to be, like, side eyes her but that's my assumption obviously i don't know Lauren cox you're amazing though i love you i love what you do for the com for the community, community. okay sorry sidetracked <laughs> so um that's one example it's just communication once you get to know someone just communicate communicate about this stuff so um communication is a big part of a relationship so why shouldn't it be just being like which it just like testing the grounds and see how they view you just be like mm -hmm. just see how they are on certain things or just like go with the flow pretty much much because sex isn't always a thing in a relationship it isn't for it is for many people but it's not for everyone so if you're not wanting to have sex to begin with and like i said the pre-op assumption versus the actual reality of some people are post-off and whatnot many people do not view so yeah no, you should not have to disclose your trans status as while dating, but you probably should disclose your trans status if you are pre-op, pre-op trans person who are ha who's going to have sex with someone. Just so then, um, they're not shocked, shocked, and you should have a, um, talk about this beforehand, being like, letting them know and kind of test the grounds if you feel like you can. Personally, for me, I'm a very out, as we can kind of tell, because I have a YouTube channel and everything, so I'm pretty out, so I'm just feeling, like, if you don't like me for who I am, bye-bye. much, but that's just me, but not everyone is like that. Like I said, you shouldn't have to disclose your trans status um, while dating, but you probably should disclose it if you are um, pre-op individual who's going to have sex with any, another person.